What is up people, this is Vyra Sashkin. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the OwnCloud server on the Raspberry Pi. So, OwnCloud is a suite of client server software for creating file hosting services and using their cloud functionality, very similar to the widely used Dropbox. So, in short, it is your drive or the Dropbox, but just on a Raspberry Pi. So, the first thing that we'll do is update everything, update the OS using the sudo apt-get update. Next, we'll install Apache, which I already have. Then, we'll start Apache and we will enable it to start at uh, startup. Next, we will have to install the other things that are required but as you see most of the things are installed because of the previous videos and you can check them out over there i made one for the apache and i made another for mariadb or mysql so the only things left were to install the php libraries Okay, so now that's that's done. We can start with downloading own cloud from its URL, which I'll be linking down in the description. And in this video, we are installing the latest own cloud that is own cloud X or 10. This is the 10.0.3 version. Now we are decompressing it. Now that that's done, we will just add a folder named own cloud in the www data. That is, it would create a folder with all uh, with read instructions in the uh, location where the www html. Now what we're doing is we are moving the own clouds folder from the desktop to the html folder. Next, we are going to be adding a few things in this file that is the own cloud.cuna file in Apache 2's sites available. Now, this whole script, I'll be adding that in the description as well. Next, we'll link it. That's it. Now we will add or we will start the other dependencies which would be required. These are A to E and mod. Next A to E and mod environment headers directory. Now let's go to the MySQL thing. Login into it using the root password. Now we'll create a database known as own cloud, but I already created one. And hence it gives out 10 error. Next we'll create a user as own cloud. And 12345 is the password. That is the user, that's the local host, and that's the password. Now we will grant all privileges to that user with the password 12345. 
Remember this password and be sure to change it. Now the last thing that you do is flush privileges and exit. That's it. Now moving on to the web page. This web page for me, it is index.php, but for you it would be slash own cloud. Now add a username or to create the admin account, I'll add in virus, give it a different password. Next, the data folder. So I just want it to be in data slash own cloud. So I'll just add in slash own cloud in the data folder that is there. Now you can change this this path if you want. Now as we set the database to own cloud and the password. I know I'm making a mistake over here, but it's one, two, three, four, five, and own cloud and localhost. Now, if you click on finish setup, I am greeted with an error. Now, I know that I messed up at this point. Why? Because I set the wrong password. It was one, two, three, four, five instead of one, two, three, four, five, six. So, after that, just clicking on enter, it would take a few minutes to install own cloud and it will show you the screen where you would log in now this being the first time it would have to set up all the settings and config file so it can take a minute or two just to show the main page this is the page now you also have a desktop app and apps on the Android as well as Apple Play Store, Apple Stores. So you can download them. That is the manual. That is a file outside. If you open it, it would ask you to download it and the other folders. This whole interface is quite similar to Google Drive. The only thing is that I can't open the files on the browser itself it prompts me to download it but i know there might be some pass through on that now uh, you can share files with others others can share files with you and so on there are multiple things that can be done with this but i'm not going in detail so we'll just add a folder named virus and that's it you have the folder there now if you want to up upload a file you just click on upload and we'll just select one file and that's it and the file is uploaded now this task can take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the size of the file now if i just open it this is the same file that i uploaded and hence it shows that it works so thank you people for watching this video like this video dislike it subscribe to the channel share it go through my other videos and see you next time Ta-da!